What's up everybody, welcome to another Sports News for Dummies video and today we'll be doing a recap on the number 8 Michigan State Spartans versus the number 6 Duke Blue Devils game. Now Michigan State Spartans beat the Duke Blue Devils 75-69. to Now this game started very well for the Duke Blue Devils. Uh, Michigan State started the game off with a lot of turnovers, a lot of fouls. Uh, Kithier and Hauser were in early foul trouble for the Spartans. And it feels like uh, Duke was getting to the free throw line whenever they wanted. They were getting to the rim whenever they wanted. Michigan State just came out a little sluggish. And uh, it kind of looked like they were going to get blown out of the water at first. Now, uh, a big reason that Michigan State stayed in the game early was because of Aaron Henry. He was getting to the basket a lot in the early going. Uh, it didn't seem like Duke really had an answer for him. Uh, they were locking down mostly everybody else. And I don't even know if I would call it locking down. Just Michigan State was just... Making terrible turnovers, terrible. It was just, they were just giving the ball to Duke. And Duke was taking advantage of those turnovers. They were getting easy, fast break points, uh, converting those turnovers into points. And that's what got Duke out to the early lead. Now, Duke's freshman, Jalen Johnson, had a monster first game for Duke. I think he went 19 for 19, or uh, 19 and 19, 19 points, 19 rebounds. And, uh, he, he just kind of had a sluggish night overall. I mean, he didn't shoot very well. He finished with 11 points, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, 11 points, 4 rebounds. So he just really wasn't as active as I thought he would be. Um, I wish I would have saw a little bit more of him. Now, obviously, uh, Aaron Henry was coming into the year projected as Michigan State's best player. and He also had another good game. But I think a player that needs some big recognition around the nation is Rocket Watts. I love the way Rocket Watts is playing right now, the way he's getting past defenders, the way he's distributing the ball, the way he's scoring. I mean, he's not settling for threes. He's getting to the basket. The only knock I could probably give him last night is he was a little careless with the ball. There were some times where he just made dumb passes, like right to the Duke defense. But besides that, I think he played a great game. Um... He's becoming a great point guard for this Michigan State team. Now, a Duke standout that I want to get into a little bit is uh, Matthew Hurt. Um, I really liked watching Matthew Hurt play. Uh, he's a sophomore for Duke, 6'9". Um, I, he was getting past defenders, uh, like bigger defenders for Michigan State. He could drive past them. He could hit a little mid-range. He, he, he has a nice-looking shot. He can like elevate and get a shot over a lot of defenders, I think. So uh, I, th I like his game a lot, and I think he can be a really good player for this Duke team. So I would be excited for how he's going to progress in the future. So the momentum of this game really changed. I mean, somewhere midway through the first half. Uh, I forget the exact time. It'll be, it'll be later, earlier in this video, I mean. Um, but I think it was like Aaron Henry passed to Malik Hall for Michigan State. And he got that dunk, and he fell on his face. Thank God he's okay. He didn't hurt himself. But uh, he dunked it, and they called a flagrant. Um, I think that's when the momentum of this game changed. I mean, after that point, they got that dunk. I just felt like Michigan State really just held on to the momentum, and it really just didn't let go. They were just suffocating. I mean, Duke had some runs in the second where they made it close, but overall, I think Michigan State had it after that point. Overall, for Duke, I don't think it was like a terrible game played. I mean, I, I definitely think they could have won this game, but I just they didn't hit shots last night. I mean, it was just like, I mean, they have Moore who went 0-9. They had Stewart that went 0-7. And then Johnson went 4-11. for And those guys went 0-2, for 0-6, for and 0-3 for from 3. So, I mean, you just can't win with numbers like that. I mean, it's hard when you're not making shots to beat a team like Michigan State. But, I mean, overall, this team has a lot of potential to be good. I mean, I like their players a lot. Um, you just got to mesh that all together. It's a young season. Uh They'll be good. They'll make a deep run into the tournament for sure. A couple other players that I want to talk about for uh, Michigan State is Joey Hauser and Marble. Um, Julius Marble, sophomore, 6'8". I mean, he had a great game. I think he went 5 for five for, five for 12 points, I believe. Um, yes, 5 for 5, 12 points. I mean, he played a studly game off the bench. And then Hauser, he went 4 6 from the field goal, uh, 2 for 3. From three, 11 points, 10 rebounds. I mean, you can't ask a whole lot more from your bigs. Uh, Hauser did foul out. He did get in some foul trouble, so he'll need to clean that up. But Michigan State's bigs are looking strong this year, especially after losing uh, Xavier Tillman. Overall, Michigan State is a strong team like always. They'll need to clean up the turnovers once they get into Big Ten play because the Big Ten is a gauntlet this year. But uh, if they want to be the strongest team possible, they got to hold on to that ball. Overall, 
I think this is another potential Final Four team for Michigan State. Same as Duke. I mean, Duke's looking strong, too. I mean, it was a good game overall. Um, I like these two teams for sure. Um, I like making these uh, recap videos about basketball because I'm a big basketball guy. So these college basketball recap videos, I'm going to be doing more in the future. I might do one on Kentucky-Kansas game. Probably going to do one on the West Virginia-Gonzaga game and probably the Illinois-Baylor game. So just let me know what other games you want to see. Now with that, we've come to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.